Welcome. In this module, we'll talk about the first critical security control from CIS, inventory of authorized and unauthorized devices. I'd like to mention here that if you go to the Excel version of these controls, and, and by the way, the controls I'm showing you are exactly the same controls, which and I have in fact taken them from the Excel sheet and shown them here so that we can walk through them and make you familiar with what the controls are. Now, um, there, there is, a, there is also a uh, classification and, and uh, CIS marks if each control is a basic control or is a more advanced control. And if you go to the PDF version of the controls, then there is some more description and detail, impact, um, importance, um, uh, you know, that may be helpful for you if the control or the area is something new, is, is a topic which is new for you. So please go to the CIS website and download the Excel version and the PDF version of these controls. And, and do please do study them. Um, control 1.1 is uh, referring to critical security control number one, and then sub-control number one. Uh, that's the hierarchy of how these controls are, um, are listed. Deploy an automated asset inventory discovery tool and use it to build a preliminary inventory of systems connected to an organization's public and private network. So here, uh, CIS is asking us to use an automated system and not try to do this manually. And uh, this is very, very important and useful because usually there are so many, usually hundreds or thousands of IT assets, including systems, computers, uh, network devices, branches, printers, Wi-Fi access points, mobile devices, all of these are, are so many uh, that it's really not possible to keep track of all the IT assets if we try to do it manually. And the control continues, both active tools that scan through IPv4 or IPv6 network address ranges and passive tools that perhaps you know, could sit in line in the form of an IPS or some other device uh, that identify hosts based on analyzing their traffic should be employed. Control 1.2, the next control, uh, sub-control in uh, CSC1, inventory of authorized devices. If the organization is dynamically assigning addresses using DHCP, dynamic host configuration protocol, and many times organizations do use uh, dynamic uh, address assignment rather than using uh, a fixed address on a machine, which is very hard to maintain. So um, almost all organizations use DHCP. And if that is the case, then CIS is advising use uh, the uh, DHCP server logging. We should use the DHCP server logging feature and use this information to improve the asset inventory and help detect unknown systems. So usually the IT environment is very complex. And even if you're using an asset tracking tool, you would it's likely that you would miss certain systems or devices. And the DHCP is, is, you know, is a good way. If you're using the logging feature, you can track and make sure that everything uh, that is being assigned an IP address is on your inventory and you can detect un you know, unknown systems. 1.3, ensure that all equipment acquisitions automatically update the inventory system as new approved devices are connected to the network. So you're maintaining inventory when, you, when something new comes in, a new purchase, it, uh, you know, we need to synchronize um, and make sure the new entry is also part of the inventory. 1.4, Maintain an asset inventory of all systems connected to the network and the network devices themselves, recording at least the following information. So, you know, when you make an inventory, what do you need to record? Um, the, uh, the network addresses, machine names, purpose of each system, uh, an asset owner responsible for each device, and the department associated with each device. So this is all great information and you know it can be in the form of an excel sheet with columns having all of this information the inventory should include every system every single system that has an ip address on the network including but not limited to desktops laptops servers network equipment router switches firewalls printers storage area networks voice over ip telephones multi-homed addresses virtual addresses etc the asset inventory created must also include data on whether the device is a portable and or personal device. And that's very helpful in the terms of BYOD. Um, and if it's a mobile device, then there's a slightly different approach. If it's a fixed device, then there's a slightly different approach. 
devices such as mobile phones, tablets, and other portable electronic devices that store or process data must be identified regardless of whether they are attached to the organization's network. Uh, so that's very important. And uh, number 1.5 is deploy network level authentication via 802.1x, which is an IEEE standard uh, for access control of, uh, you know, um, and, and usually network admission control or NAC systems, NAC, NAC systems, network admission control, one of the protocols that they use is 802.1x. Um, and this, what this does is that whenever a system tries to connect to the network, when you come in the morning and switch on your, your computer and connect it to the uh, wire, you know, connect the cable to the network, it should actually go through um, a admission control protocol or procedure which has some additional checks to make sure that the system is authorized to actually connect to the network. So deploy network level authentication via A22.1x to limit and control which devices can be connected to the network. The 802.1x must be tied into the inventory data to determine authorized versus unauthorized systems. And finally, 1.6, use client certificates, which is digital certificates. And uh, this could be done in an environment, for example, which is more sensitive or computers which require a further level of, um, you know, of, of check or control or authentication use client certificates to validate and authenticate systems prior to connecting to the private network. That's all that we have for this module. Thank you.